The dish for today is French onion soup chicken. Sounds a little weird, but it's a great dish and really tasty. So if you like onions and chicken and French onion soup, you're going to love this one. Well, the first thing, of course, we're going to need is chicken. So I've got three chicken breasts that we're going to pound down to try and get them as even as we can. These things are huge. I don't know what they did to chickens, but man, oh man, they're big. We're going to pound them down. I figured this out, that if you take a large freezer bag, instead of just putting it in plastic wrap, it doesn't spray all over the place. Keeps it pretty well within the bag as long as you don't hammer too, too hard. And it does a good job. So that was the first chicken breast. Now we got the second and, of course, the third. Pound them down to a reasonable size. They're roughly the same as you can see here. But they're big, which is good because that's going to give us more meat for our dish. Now over in a pan, I've caramelized the onions. I used about a large onion, maybe not quite. And I chopped it in slices and pieces, kind of just to mix it up. They're ready, so we're going to put them in a dish and put them aside till we need them. Because that is part of our dish. And there you go, you see about how much I got. If you want more, make more. Now into a bowl, we're going to make a coating for our chicken. Two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which I didn't think was enough, but hey, it worked out. Next up is a half teaspoon of oregano, followed by a half teaspoon of salt, and a half teaspoon of pepper. And lastly, a half teaspoon of basil. The recipe also called for a half teaspoon of thyme. Didn't have any thyme. <laughs> anyway, now we've got to coat our chicken, which can be problematic. It's kind of like French toast. You know, in French toast, all the cinnamon comes out on the first one. Well, all the pepper and that came out on the first chicken uh, breast. So we're going to fix that, though. We'll grab the second one and coat that as best we can. And then the third one, we're going to kind of coat it with the first one. We're going to mix around. We're going to get it easy, even as we can. My hands were all full of oil. I didn't want to start remixing another one. And there was a lot on the first chicken breast anyway, which I thought was a little too much. So the third one kind of soaked up some of the spices from the first one. And it all worked out fine in the end. Let's put that aside, and there's our chicken breasts all ready to go into the pan. Now, when you use a skillet, a tablespoon of oil into a pan. Now, whatever pan you use, make sure it's oven ready. If you don't, you could have issues. So this one was. In goes our chicken. Now these things are big. I mean, it just barely fit in this big frying pan. But they will shrink down once they're cooked. Of course, it's on medium heat. And away we go. They start whitening up around the edges. We give them a flip, and there's just a little bit of golden color to it. Looks pretty cool. While we're waiting for it to finish cooking, I've got some beef broth. We need one cup of beef broth. And I got the flour out because we're going to have to thicken our broth with some flour. There you go, there's one good full cup. 
Now the trick with this too is it's to your preference if you like the sauce a little thicker you can put more flour in. If you like it thinner you put more beef broth in. It's all up to you. So our chicken is done. Turned it over. It looks pretty close to being done. And this is going to go, go in the oven anyway so it doesn't have to be 100% cooked as long as it's close. We're going to take these off. And now the fun part, let's get everything ready to roll. Of course I got a little fussy, I had to get all the little pieces out, which they were going back in anyway, so it was kind of silly. Into that we put our onions that we had cooked down. And to that, two tablespoons of flour. Now the heat's still on, we're going to mix it together with the onions. You've got to keep stirring. You don't want the flour to burn. And once it's fully incorporated, a minute or two, into the onions. Now we're going to take some of our beef stock. I don't want to pour the whole thing in, so I put maybe about a quarter or a third in. And kind of scrape the bottom and kind of got it going. You can see how the broth is bubbling up a bit. Well, we get that all on a stir and then we will pour in the rest of our broth. Well, it's still a little runny but once it comes up to a boil it will start thickening. And as we keep stirring you can feel it getting a little thicker, getting a little thicker. We're going to let this sit while we go get our chicken ready and you'll see the difference between this and a few minutes later when we let it sit. So here's our three chicken breasts. They seem really big so I'm cutting them in half. That way they're in decent sized portions. Plus if there's any leftovers you know they'll stack on a plate a little easier than those big ones. So we've cut them in half and you, and you can see from the cutting board the juice coming off them and, and I mean they're still hot. They're not super hot. I've actually let them cool down a little bit so I can handle them but there you go. They're nice and juicy. Oh beautiful. To our onion mixture and I hope you can see the difference between a few minutes ago and now. It's a lot thicker. Well, we're going to take that we're going to take half and put it aside. On the bottom of the pan we're going to try and even out the half we left. Doesn't have to be super neat but you know we want it all spread out. And now our chicken's going to go on top of that. Our chicken's in, so now the other half of the onion mix is going on top. So that's looking good, but we're not done yet. Now this wasn't part of the recipe, but I had two slices of provolone in the fridge that, hey, we needed cheese. Ripped them up into small pieces, put them on. Along with that, I also had a couple pieces of Swiss I needed to get rid of, so I threw that on. And there you go, isn't that good? Well, but that ain't it. We need more cheese. I had the tail ends of Gruyere from making um, French onion soup, so we shredded that up, and that's going on top. So you got three cheeses on that. Isn't that cool? And uh, that's about a cup right there. So the other one were slices. This was the end of a chunk I, I needed to use up. Like I said, that's about a cup, maybe a little less. Now 
Now I'm putting pepper on just to season it a bit. Any other kind of spice you want to put in, be my guest, it's your dish. The last step is into the oven 350, 8 to 10 minutes till all the cheese is nice and bubbly and melty. That's what it looks like. Now that is good food. So we're going to take that off the cutting board and get it on a plate. There's a plate, just like that. Now we'll put that, see how that chicken, that's a nice portion size right there. So don't worry about it. If you really want more, you just put two pieces on. That looks fantastic. And it tastes just as good as it looks. So I hope you'll try this. As always, if you do, leave me a comment below. Let me know how it works out. Give me a thumbs up. I'd sure appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Feel free to share this and any of my other videos. And as always, thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now.